Thousands of Lowcountry students are days away from returning to school. Thoughts of safety most likely on the minds of many parents and students. The Berkeley County School District and its partner law enforcement agencies are taking that to heart. Now a warning, some of the sights and sounds you're about to see and hear might be intense. ABC News 4 photojournalist Jason Tai takes us to this year's active shooter drill at Goose Creek High. Definitely a lethal shot. Some of them have never experienced this type of training. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! I think it brings us home as, as close as you can in, obviously, to the real thing. It gives us an opportunity to go back and um, replay it, um, which we don't get that in life. Pulled up a good angle. School security is ever evolving. Yeah, if you got a rifle, go to rifle. Every year, I feel like we, we get better as a group. Oh, oh, Let me see you guys. SROs are going to have to uh, overcome, God forbid if we ever are in that situation, but that's something that they're going to have to overcome and push through to get to the threat. We're actually going to implement uh, a scenario from Uvalde, uh, from that elementary school, and uh, because it's something that I've never really seen before, and this is my 10th year in the school district. Even though it's five agencies, I know that all five of those agencies have the same mindset when it comes to their officers attacking a active shooter type situation. Tim Knight, Berkeley County Schools Safety and Security Coordinator, says he's discussed how the mass shooting in Uvalde impacts their school district with local law enforcement and district employees. Knight says they've hired seven new school resource officers. Eleven schools in the district, however, don't have full-time SROs, but most are close by to schools that do.